Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycle. Today we're gonna learn about a really fun coding app called Scratch Junior. So this is what the logo looks like. It's kind of this blue logo with a orange or a yellow cat on it. And if you're in District 196 where I teach, you can go to your home screen, you can go to your self-service app as I see circled here, open that self-service app, just type in Scratch Junior into your search menu, that should pop up the app, and then you can go ahead and install it. If you're not in District 196, you can just install it from your app store. All right, boys and girls, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to tap on your app, Scratch Junior. <clears throat> it's going to bring it up, and you're gonna see a button to the left that looks like a little house. You're gonna tap on that, and then you're going to get your saved projects, and you're going to see a plus to the upper left. You're gonna tap on that plus, and that'll bring you to your opening screen. Now you're gonna see that to begin with, you've got a little cat here in the middle. You can see me moving it with my finger. So if you want to paint or change that character, I'm gonna show you how to do that first. You can hit the paint brush to the right of the cat in the upper right hand corner. So I'm gonna tap that, and then I have the paint bucket selected on the lower right. I'm going to choose a color for my cat. Let's say I want a blue cat. I'm gonna select blue at the bottom. Then I can just tap on my figure and change those colors. I can also draw if I want to by selecting a color and selecting the lines or the shapes over to the left. I can click and drag and I can add shapes and other elements to my character. Once you like your character, you can hit the check mark in the upper left. You can also use the stamps or the scissors and play with those other tools to the right to change your character. But I'm done, so I'm gonna hit the check. That puts my character in the middle of my setting. Now, if you don't like this character, that cat pops up and you wanna get rid of it, then you can delete that character by taking your finger, holding it on the character, and as you can see, a red X pops up. Once that red X pops up, you can hit that red X and get rid of that character. So now, while I have a blank screen, I'm gonna take a moment to redo my setting. If you look all the way at the top, there is a little landscape up there. I'm gonna tap that, and that brings me to a whole bunch of different scenes. The scene that I want is the fall park. So I'm gonna tap on that fall park, hit the check mark, and have that be my setting. Now, to get a character, I'm gonna go to the plus in the upper right-hand corner, tap that, and I'm going to scroll down, and let's see, I want the polar bear. I'm gonna select the polar bear, hit the check up in the corner. As you can see, the paintbrush is also up there. I could paint the polar bear if I wanted to. Hit the check and put them into my setting. Now, that polar bear looks a little large to me, maybe. So I'm gonna click the purple person that's down in the lower left. And as you can see, I get some buttons here. <clears throat> now, if I wanna change the size of the polar bear, I can click the button that has the smaller person and if I tap that, the polar bear jumps down a size. You'll see below that there's a number. I can change that number if I want. So the lower the number, the smaller the change. The higher the number, the greater the change, right? So I'm going to, whoa, now he's getting really small. I better make him big again. So I'm going to drag that back up, go back to um, these buttons here. I'm going to go to where the person is bigger and I'm going to keep tapping that too until my polar bear gets to be the size that I want. Then I'm gonna put that button back. As you can see, you can also add word bubbles or other things there with this purple set of tools. But now what I want is I want to make the polar bear move. So I'm going to click on the blue arrow, which brings up a blue set of buttons. So now these buttons will make my polar bear do different things. I can drag down this button, and as you can see, it's going to make my polar bear move a little bit forward. If you want to drag your character back, you can just do that with your finger. And so you can try out these different buttons and see what they do. But at least for me, I just want my polar bear to go in one direction. 
So I'm going to pull this button down again and again. And again, you'll see the numbers down at, below those arrows. So if I change those numbers to a greater number, the polar bear is going to move a greater distance. Now let's say I want the polar bear to move in a straight line, but I want him to keep doing it over and over and over again. I'm going to tap on the red set of tools. There's one that looks like just a stopper, and there's one that looks like it's on a loop. If I put the one that's on a loop at the end, then when I tap go, that polar bear is just going to keep going on a continuous loop over and over and over again. Until, if you look at the top of the page, there is a stop sign. When I hit that stop sign and I want the polar bear to stop, he will stop in place. Like that. Now, what if I want the polar bear to move, but I want him to stop? Well, that's where you would choose the stopper. You'd put the stopper at the end, tap. Now the polar bear will move, but when he gets to that stopper, he won't move anymore. So now I'm going to push him back with my finger. And let's say I kind of want a sign that my polar bear should begin his journey. I'm going to touch the yellow set of tools and there is a green flag because now I want to add this because I'm going to add multiple characters, not just the polar bear. I'm going to put this red stopper back and I'm going to put the continuous loop on because once I add a second character, I'm going to want him to keep moving. And now I'm going to add another character. Let's say I want somebody in the park that's a little afraid of the polar bear and he's jumping up and down. Like, what is a polar bear doing in a forest? So I'm going to tap the plus. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to choose a human character. Let's say this guy right here in the red shirt. I'm going to tap and put him in. Now, he's a little bit big compared to my polar bear, so I'm going to tap on those purple tools. I'm going to make him a tiny bit smaller. There we go, over there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the blue tools and I'm going to figure out what I want him to do. Now I want him to jump up and down in a continuous loop like he's afraid of the polar bear. So this time I'm going to tap the up arrow, the down arrow, the up arrow, the down arrow. Now this time if I change the numbers below the arrows here, that is going to change the height at which my person jumps. Now, I want him to stay a consistent jumping up and down. If I change, the, especially these two, you can see me tapping back and forth to a greater number. That means the second time he jumps, it's going to be much higher, and eventually he'll be climbing up my landscape. I don't want that to happen. I'm going to keep them both at one, but I'll change them just to kind of so you can see what I mean. I'm going to change them both to two, and now I'm going to tap. And you see the second time he went a little bit higher. So now I'm going to change them both back down to one. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that a few times here. I could just add the continuous loop right at the end like this. And then I'm going to go back to the yellow set of tools and add the green flag. Now this is what will happen when I hit that green flag up at the top of my page then what's going to happen is the polar bear and the boy will move at the same time on a continuous loop, like this. So you can see the boy is afraid of the polar bear. He's jumping up and down. And I could even add in another character if I want. When I want this to stop, I will hit the stop sign. So these tools actually can do many, many different things. This is just a very basic tutorial to get you started. Um, but this is a really fun coding program. You can even add text to what you see, the ABC up at the top. And there are a lot of other fun things to explore. I hope you like this basic tutorial of Scratch Junior. Let's get coding.